Hey guys, it's me, just rancid. Uh, a few weeks ago, I uploaded this tutorial request video to uh, get some requests for to see what you people out there wanted to sort of learn, see how to make stuff. So uh, a few people commented saying they want to know like how I make my intros. So I'll I'll just show you one effect that you can use uh, quickly in Cinema 4D. So basically, what you want to do is um, I'll just do it on a box, but you can do it on um, text as well, works just as well. Basically go to poly effects and then drop that into the cube. And then go to MoGraph. Actually don't do that just yet. Take away the poly effects, then click on the cube, click C on your keyboard, and then go to this square thing over here and then press K and it gives you this knife tool which slices the whole thing up and basically just go around slicing it the more slices you make though I warn you um, the longer the render time so it's almost good to not do as many and for it to look slightly worse than to do loads otherwise it will just take you ages to render so, so yeah Okay, so just do that on every side. Okay, so it's all nicely cut for a couple of there. Okay, then you want to click back on this, back on that, so you're back to your normal editing mode. Okay, then go to MoGraph, Poly Effects, and drop that into the cube, and then click on MoGraph random effector which is down there oh no I've done that wrong delete that click on poly effects then go to MoGraph random effector and then it will give you this spazzed up sort of bits of cubes sort of gone everywhere really but as you can see that doesn't look great it just yeah it's pretty crap so uh, what you want to do is go on to your cube and go to this sort of blue bendy thing and go explosion fx okay drop that into your cube and you will see everything is flying about so you want to just pull that out just away from the thing and why isn't this working okay click back on the cube and then go to your random effect to go to parameter and then go no no fall off sorry go to um, sphere put your fall off to a hundred percent and then make the size so it fits around the sphere so just change these not the sphere it's just so it fits the cube and then what you'll see is when this moves, it gives it this effect. Which is pretty cool. If I just add some lights, we'll be able to see it better. put shadow maps off it always makes it look better just turn the intensity down a little bit and we'll just quickly add a floor as well which is above our square so we'll just drag that down Blow. okay so if we have a look at that you can see that looks really cool to be honest I didn't expect it to look that cool <laughs> that's amazing okay so yeah that looks really effective looks sort of modern if you know what I mean if we add some I don't know black to the floor see how that looks there you want to add that to the floor okay and yeah that looks really good and then to animate it so that it's like a moving thing so you can make it into an intro, click on your random effector drag it 
where you want it to start say like here press this button down here like a sort of red button in it you can see it gives you this red outline and then click the key next to it then drag it to where you want it to first hit the cube so about there and then let go and then drag it to where you next want to move it every 30 frames is a second so and then when you put it to 90 and then move it back there so if we watch that animation back it goes like that and like that so yeah which looks really cool okay and then you can take that off now we'll just add a colour to the square to make it look good what should we have? let's go for a nice orange or something maybe a little bit of reflection on it about 10% throw that onto the cube there we go, let's have a look at that and yeah, looks pretty cool in all the colours really so yeah, and then when you want to render out go to output make sure it's 1280 by 720 because that's the 720 HP uh, like format and then go to all frames so 90 frames is 3 seconds and then go to save um, if you're using a Mac use a QuickTime or if you're using a Windows use AVI but I've got Windows but I prefer to use QuickTime and I know I've got this Mac thing at the top because I've changed it but yeah and then uh, you just leave all these settings the same and then just save it to where you want to so I'll just save it here it's that and then go down to options and put the ray depth down a little bit just not loads just a couple on each one maybe three on the higher ones and then yeah um, if you really want it to look good click on effect ambient occlusion close that and then it, you can see it takes a lot longer to render but it gives them a sort of more shadowy effect so we'll just let that render so you can see I'll, I'll speed this bit up okay hey, hey guys I'm back um, you can see that that looks a lot better with the ambient occlusion you've got a little bit of reflection on there as well so yeah but I'd advise you to take that off really that's just because you can see the difference in the rendering time see how much quicker that's done it like the other one I had to pause it because it took about a minute to render and that's just one slide so yeah when you're done make sure you got all these correct and then just click this button here and it will start rendering out actually no cancel that so, um, you want to have a camera in there to make it look better so go to camera camera is scene camera camera okay and then so you move it back to the beginning keyframe it where you want so and then 30 I might move it in a little bit twist it around so it zooms in on the cube click the keyframe then by 60 we'll go out maybe go around this side of it a little bit and then 90 we can I don't know go up here or something and then click that okay so now if we watch that back the camera will follow where it goes and it looks really good and then just click that and it will start rendering out your intro so yeah um, I'll render it out and then put this at the end of the video so you guys can see it and yeah thanks for watching subscribe comment like uh, send me a message if you've got any other tutorial ideas or anything you want help on yep thanks just run it